Hello everyone, Mappy here with more Phenotopia Awakening. Yeah, sorry, we're, uh... Sorry about this being a little bit late. I had to... do some business with the DMV last week, and... So, it's currently tourist season. So, I had to go down back roads to get to the DMV. And it was just kind of annoying, really. But enough of that. We've got some phenotopian, phenotopian, yeah, I can't speak. We've got some awakening to do, and hopefully, hopefully, um, oh yeah, the other thing, right now you might be hearing a sound in the background. That's because I finally got my, uh, I finally got my uh, air conditioner to work. Words. Words are difficult. So, because otherwise I would be baking in my apartment right now. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully the, that sound isn't too bad. But we need to get to town in order to resolve this issue. The issue of aliens showing up directly as that one guy requested. Oh, did I notice some dropped frames? No, it seems fine. Yeah, I apologize about the previous episode. Gil, sorry for running off earlier. Alex told us to wait for you. He took everyone else to scout at the village. We should hurry back as well. Yeah, let's go. When we show up in the village. It's dark and scary. Let's split up to cover more ground. Good idea. So, yeah, we get into town. We save again because, uh saving addiction and now we need to go in and see if we can find anyone don't mind me just checking inside this lab which right this is one of the things I really like about the aesthetic of this game because it's thank you very much because it's like a post post apocalyptic thing you occasionally just have Random super science. Like down here, there's like... No one here, but there's a lab. How fun. Alright. It's kind of annoying that you have to do that every single time, but... How else would they stop people from getting into those sweet, sweet hearts? Is anyone in here? It looks like the answer is no. Have you found anyone? Uh, hello? Is there really no one here? This this is a bad dream, right, Gail? I don't think so. There, there's nobody here. Even the Poogie are gone. So cool! Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see if you still feel like that's cool in the morning. And Seth said he saw a spaceship? I can't believe I missed such an awesome sight! Oh right, sorry, everyone has two dialogues. Gail, you're the oldest one now, what should we do? Um... Oh no, I am the adult. Poor Felix, I don't think he understands the gravity of the situation. The village is so quiet, it's spooky. I don't know why I gave him a deep voice. It might be because he looks like he has a beard. Excuse me, out of my way. Yeah, that's one of the nice things about this game. You don't get crushed by things. Alright. No, I think this is where we need to end up. I think we need to... Because that's home. <laughs> Cheer up, Ella. It's going to be fine. Everyone will come back. I, I think. There, there, there. At least I'm here with you. Or Ella. 
so young. My old man said one day I'd inherit this dojo. I didn't think the day would come so soon. I'm not worried for my old man. He's the toughest warrior alive. It's me I'm worried about. Everyone who was in the village when the flashes hit has disappeared. I guess it was quite lucky for us to be in the forest. Or are we the unlucky ones? I saw it firsthand, but I still can't believe it. I think it was aliens? It might, in fact, be aliens. No one in here, as expected. I'm starting to think that there's no one anywhere. Hop into the store. There's no one here. My whole family is gone. Is it true? Did a spaceship really take them away? I shouldn't be here. I should be with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm agreeing with the question of, hey, are we the lucky ones or are we the unlucky ones, given that... Uh, the only people who appear to be left are Gale and Alex. Like, we're the only pseudo-adults. And Gale's like 16 or 17? That's... Yeah, this village is going to have some problems. Especially since... Okay, and before I talk to Alex, which I think ends this section, I'd like to just talk about the backgrounds for a moment. I love the backgrounds in this game. Specifically, the town backgrounds. Uh, we're going to see more of that later. But one thing they do 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 a really good job of is making it feel like the village isn't just like this string of five houses. Because you have like, oh, all, you have all the houses in the background. And it, it, it gives you a sense that this is actually like a place. All right, let's talk to Alex, see what he has to say. Hard to believe, but it really does look like everyone's gone. It's clear that they've been abducted by that ship. I can only imagine for what nefarious purpose. I don't want to appear insensitive, but it's time to face the facts. We're the oldest two now, and everyone's depending on us. We should round everyone up. The kids will stay out all night if we don't. Now let's go. Okay, everyone's gathered inside. They're scared and confused. The kids will look to us for guidance, so let's put on a brave face. How can we reassure them? <laughs> hmm, should we give the, like, transparent, obvious lie that so the kids won't respect us? Or should we be the smart people and tell them the truth? I think we should tell them the truth. Hmm, the truth might be harsh, but it would come out eventually. And they'd likely resent us if we lied when they do find out. You know, you're quite mature for your age. I think Alex is like 14, is the thing. <laughs> Ahem, listen up, everyone. It's not easy to say this, but everyone who was in the village was abducted. We don't know where they were taken, or even why. While it's tempting to imagine the worst, let's remember that they're a capable group. They've got the strongest martial arts master in Cadell. They've got the smartest scientist I know in Rutea. And Kit can cook. He's right! We're the ones that are in bad shape. We're doomed! <laughs> You're good at this, Alex. I swear. Help! Gale jumps up. Goes, curse it, I am a- <laughs> Curses, I'm a silent protagonist. Man, that was exhausting. Now that everyone has calmed down a bit, we can plan our next move. I already have a few ideas of where we can start our search. It has to do with the star rock that fell today. Were you able to find it? Gale dumps it on the table. Not a rock. So it's not a star rock, but a golem. Even better, we can extract more information from it. It's no coincidence that this thing fell the same day that ship appeared. They must be connected in some way. It's too bad the golem's broken. Ugh. Yikes, that scared me. If Rutea was here, she would have been able to fix it. Then maybe it could give us some answers. I will say I love Gale's thinking animation. It's just so good. Hey, that's not a bad idea. 
Even without Rutea, there should still be plenty of scientists in the big cities. A Thai town lies just west from here. It's as good a place as any to start looking. So it's decided, you'll look for leads in a Thai. And while you're gone, I'll watch over the village. I'll keep it in tip-top shape for when the villagers return. So, what do you think our real chances are? I mean, that spaceship. They probably look like bugs to something that huge. We have to try! Yeah, yeah no, no matter how small the chance, we have to try. The way you say that really gives me hope. Thanks, Gale. If we persevere, surely something good will result. That's what Grandma Nana would say. It's been a long night. Let's get some rest. Tomorrow is a new day. <laughs> I, I forgot that we have that these were like not background objects. So I thought I was just going to like jump over Alex, but no, I just landed on the bookshelf. I'll stay up for a little longer. I'm just collecting my thoughts. You should sleep. You must be tired. <laughs> Where is my room? No, no, Gail, we know that. You did great today. Uh, me? Ah, oh, shucks. I'm just faking it. I'm faking it with this voice that I picked up from this television show. Perhaps I should take Kit's room. I think it's what he would have, what he would have wanted. Let's just see if there's anyone... Is anyone, like, wandering around? Nope. Um, and I think... I think we can do this now before we before we go to bed. But yeah. I realized, like, after the fact that I just, for whatever <laughs> reason... Gave him... Oh, what's the character's name? From... From Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. You and he were... Buddies, weren't you? Now, you're the best. What was it? When I started this hospital, I was strictly solo. But if you, but if you, I can't remember the line. But hey, money. I just remember the voice. I will think of. I'll think of who it. What his name is, at some point, and I'll share it with you. Maybe in the description. Okay. Ah, oh, why is this room a, li a bit choppy? It's like, yeah, this room's fine. That room's just like... It might be because of all the candles. Let's check in on the kids before we go to bed. <laughs> Hi there! Are you taking us in? I used to tell Grandma Nana that I didn't need such a thing. No, I wouldn't mind it so much. Ugh, old man. Ugh, old man. Muttering about the old man. Oh, you guys aren't even in bed yet. Nana. <laughs> Ella's finally sleeping. I've never seen her so upset. Ren will be staying with us for a while. We can't send her back to an empty house, after all. I figured. Still awake. Can't sleep. What if that spaceship comes back? Stop. Stop. Mommy. Mommy. Everyone's tuckered out from a long day of exploring and uh, having their everyone they know and love abducted. You know, normal things. All right, sleep time. Let's wake up. I do appreciate that emotion. Or I should emotion animation. I also really, really enjoy the fact that like if you don't jump out of bed, she just kind of sit there. It was like five more minutes, please. 
I just need five more minutes. A little bit more beauty rest. I was assigned to cooking duty. I think I'm getting the hand of it. Here, be my first victim, a customer. Oh, looks like you're full up. I'll hang on to your lunch until you get back. Okay. So... Yeah, one of the restrictions of this this game has is the uh, limited inventory size. And unfortunately, we're going to have to hold on to the Inori Pillar. Yeah, the Inori Pearl Stone doesn't fill it up. We have to hold on to the Lunar Vase for a while. Um, I might just actually cook up our mystery meat. Get some space. Gonna have to be quiet for this. Oh no. Up. All right, no, I, I really do need to focus up for this. I can do it. There we go, okay. And unfortunately they don't auto stack, so we do need to group them. And before I accidentally eat it, I'm gonna switch my Thought? Oh wait. I missed the first line, but it was like, those abductors even took the paro. Being able to walk out to the coop and pet a fluffy paro was one of life's simple pleasures. All right. Well, isn't it just like what Grandma Nana used to make? And it was a potato lunch. It can't be like further cooked, but it's, it's a really good healing item. I like it. Let's wander and see what else, what else everyone's doing. <laughs> sure. I saw that. You can't fool me, gravity. Let's talk to the farmers. I've been working on the potato patch all the live long day. Hi, Gail. I heard you were setting out soon. Focus on what you have to do. I'll work hard too, so trust in us. Maybe I should think of consistent voices for people, but that seems like effort. Man, working in the fields is not fun at all. Alex tricked me. I think I get why adults are so tired come nightfall. This work stuff is tiring. Yep. Um, is anyone in here? No. But I do know, I can think of two things that are useful in here. First, you know, beyond just talking with people and hearing how they're doing. Running, running, running. Um, which are over in this direction. We have the, we have the, yeah, Paro Coop. All the Paro were abducted. Feel free to sit here and reminisce on how eggs used to taste. So that's actually going to be a side quest. If we go in here, it's empty. But throughout the world, there will be Paro just kind of sitting. Sitting places. They got scattered. And if you can find them, you can bring them back and it changes the message. And if I remember correctly, also gives you some free eggs. And eggs are pretty decent. Hi, Gail. Sorry. Hi, Gail. I've decided to watch on my dad's dojo while he's away. And of course, the best place to watch something is from high up. Don't let my young age fool you. I know everything my old man knows. Any questions? How are you? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Me strong like lion. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay with you guys. It's fun ha having so many brothers and sisters. Don't let my young age fool you. We already covered charge attacks. Uh, new techniques? Well, I'm not an expert on this one, but I can try to teach it to you. My old man calls it Ukemi. When you're hit by something really strong, you bounce around, right? Ukemi negates the bounce and gets you back on your feet more quickly. Supposedly, you perform it by pressing left trigger right when you're about to crash. You want to practice the timing. Jump from a great height, like from here to the ground. Right before you land, press LT if you roll. Yeah, LT. If you roll, you got the timing down for Ukemi. If you land with a par thud, then you still need practice. It's like... Right, maybe maybe if I uh if I press the right button and not the like 
camera swap. Yeah. It, this is one of those things where I don't know if I'm ever going to get the timing right consistently. Because you're supposed to be doing that, like, mid-fight. And I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. I don't have good... I don't have good timing. Do you know anything about other dojos? Other dojo? Sorry. Other dojos? You're not thinking of switching, are you? Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. My dad recommends apprenticing at various dojos for a well-rounded fighting education. My big sister left to do exactly that. And then she never came back. We will meet his sister. Let's talk about charge attacks. Press and hold X is ready to charge attack. Wait until the enemy is right in front of you and kerplow! It's really effective against armored foes. Charge attacks shoot off a little slower, so watch your timing. Ah yes, timing, that thing I'm fantastic at. And if we go in here... Hi Gail, we found some snacks for you to take on your journey. Take as many as you can carry. I can't carry very many right now, but... We spent all morning shuffling through the storeroom. There's way too much junk in there. Is there anything in here for me to find? No. And no. So if my inventory wasn't full right now, um, I might, I might just smash through these. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's quite a, there's quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to throw away the, that. Oh, right. Potatoes, potatoes fill up a whole slot. Um, they're really good. I'm going to just eat that berry. Um, and you know what? That's good for right now. Like, when we come back, the stuff we didn't grab is all boxed up. And if I remember correctly, if we come back after visiting other locations, they'll restock. Okay. So just so I remember it, over here, there's something we can't access yet. But we'll be able to access it sooner rather than later. Did I, did I check out up here? I can't remember if I did this on on screen. Um, it'll be kind of annoying if I already have... Yep, I, I think I haven't visited this one yet. Um, this is a good place to grab some money. Not, I don't think it restocks all that much, but more importantly, Moonstone. Let me see. I think I can grab that. If not... I've wasted all of our time and I'm sorry. Wait, can I? I think I can. If I was better at aiming. Yes, I can knock it over to me. There we go. Again, these aren't useful yet, but they will be. All right, so we probably shouldn't go make some progress towards a tie. Um, but first, let's go into some places that uh, we can't go yet. This is the Franway. Franway, a bold new vision for travel, coming soon. Uh, this is... We'll get to this. Um, right now, it's not useful in the slightest. But as you notice, we've got a little portal. We hop down here, you hit that. Oh, a fire pop us up. It's like a nice, calm place. But yeah, no, the Franway is currently entirely useless. Let's go look at another place that's like actually entirely useless at this point in time. This place. We will figure, we will Learn about this place in... Excuse me. 
I wish I could just spam attacks. Like, there's an option in the menu for it, but... The only one that I'm really going to use is just the... Being able to eat from the menu thing. But yeah, a couple places we can't go to yet. But here, here's an important spot. Um, I'm actually, okay, I'm going to show you what happens if you hit one of the bees. Just because it's, uh, it's horrifying. Yep, every single bee on the screen goes for you. And they die, so they do die in one hit, which is useful. But on the other hand, they're also nasty. Also spiders. Spiders are also nasty. They will, they're, they are annoying. Oh no. So one of the things that makes them annoying, and we'll, you'll see this in a second, is that they swing when you hit them if you don't kill them in one shot. And yes, they can hurt you while they're swinging, because of course they can. Why, why wouldn't they be able to hurt you? This is... This is Phenotopia Awakening. Okay, I don't think I can get up to that heart yet. I just have to remember that that's there. You are in a very annoying spot, little guy. Out of my way. Yes, I'm taking this one a bit slowly, but that's just because it's, uh... Kinda rough if you don't, honestly. Oh, okay, no. That guy was gonna murder me. Like that. I can't. All right, I can't afford to be a little bit more cavalier with my health than I am than I'm being, but uh. Honestly, caution is... Really? Me. Stop Stop being so bad at, uh... Stop being so bad at this. Okay. So... And we come into this little, like, village in the middle. Hi! Welcome to Honeybee Labs and Inn! Please, come in. Dad says this suit will protect against bees. I think it protects me from making friends. Am I the only one that thinks it's strange we're living in the midst of giant bees? I'm old enough. I am so moving. At least come fall, they'll all fly home. I take comfort in the fact that their hive is supposedly on another continent. Which is interesting. Ah, drinking milk tea, viewing giant bees, it's the simple things in life. Hmm. Lab size with an acceptable range, check. No illegal technology, check. Right, yes. So, these guys are gonna be more relevant later, but, uh, this world, I can't remember what they're called right now, but, uh, they have, they have people basically making sure that no one has technology that's too advanced, um, which, given that we've seen people walking around with, like, robots and such, makes kind of makes me wonder what they consider to be too advanced i'm guessing it's mostly related to weapon technology i've not got i've not really gotten to too much of their stuff i've just i've seen them around a few places um and they're mostly just there to be killjoys huzzah traveler please make yourself at home uh, who are you I'm Hatchy, the leading researcher of these giant and beautiful specimens. Some might say I'm their only researcher, it's not a very competitive field. I can't see why, I hunt bees just lovely. 
I please? The leading theory, sorry. The leading theory is that they were genetically engineered by the ancients. They designed a resilient bee that would not falter in the harsh conditions of pre-awakened Earth. I imagine our ancestors were thinking of a way to provide for future generations. How neighborly of them. So a lot of a lot of places around here have uh, these telescopes. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, okay, so th so this shop sells these things, uh, which, if I remember correctly, you have the, the sweet, which I'm not gonna buy because I don't have room for it. You have the sweet roll, mmm, tasty heels. Then you have like the nectar drink and the honey drops, and what those do is they actually give you back energy. So I guess if you want to, like, recharge immediately, that's what you do. Oh, no, a very important thing. Very important thing we need to do. Give the cat some attention. Maybe if I was better at direction. But yeah, no, so this is actually a, uh... There's an in-game achievement for doing this. Not, not like, to this cat specifically, but, whoops, wrong button. It's over cat patter. We need to pet nine different cats. This is important to the continued prosperity of our nation. Welcome to the Honeybee Labs and Inn. Rest your weary bones for a spell. Rest for 10R. Yes. Thanks for your patronage. Rest well. Because remember, we do need to get to sleep in every bed at some point. Also, an interesting thing about this particular uh, inn is that if you come in here and you don't have money, they will actually let you stay for free. And that's part of um, the not-for-profit achievement. Um... The ethics one actually is coming up relatively soonish. Um, we might actually see that one within an episode or two. Out of my way. Oh, yep, there's the moonstone up there. Ah. Remember, charge attacks. Charge attacks are how we deal with the enemy. The enemy being giant spiders. Like, 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 okay, we hear the theory about... Right, yes, we also need to get that. Which is really just a timing challenge. Um, I think I can jump there safely, jump there safely. And it's like... Now-ish, I think? Ah yes, thank you, thank you for your hatred of hitboxes, or like hatred of iframes. Pinotopia Awakening is greatly appreciated. All right, I need to get up here. I think I can. Yep, yeah, I can just. Chillax here while it's setting up. Ah. And I think I need to fall there, yes. To grab that moonstone. Important stuff, moonstones. Important stuff. Ah. Excuse me. Bouncing me between enemies is very rude game. To the point where I'm actually going to munch on some of my delicious twice cooked, twice cooked mystery meat. I don't... Stealth spider. Not my favorite. I mean, you can do that, but, uh... Remember what happens when you hit the bees? Yeah, that's why I've just not been doing that. <laughs> yeah. We are going to be getting a very, 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 very important item once we get to a tie. Um, we can't really visit those caves yet. Oh yes, the bridges! 
Oh yes, these dudes! Let's talk to these dudes after I go in here. If I remember correctly... Right, no. Uh, there's not really a, a reason to go in here yet. I think this... Yeah, no, I think we need to wait on this. Haha, <laughs> I'm looking down upon you. Bump. Hi, we're the Troubadours, a traveling music troupe. Ah, is that really the name we're going with? I really like the name, the Traveling Melodies. We're going to travel to the big city and strike it rich. I'm Harmony, and to my left are Forte, Alto, and Cobet. Pity the bridge is out. Guess we should call it a day and disband. It was good meeting you all. You're a little new, but that's not how we do things here. We keep positive, but what's a little adventure without some difficulty? One day, when they retell our story, those travails will be what makes it worth hearing. The important thing is we stick together. Agreed. Now, how can we cross this bridge? One slip and we'll lose our equipment. We can't have that. You, music will show us the way it's gotten us this far. Are your friends thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, 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 split up. Let's hit it. Kill me. I know I didn't have consistent voices for any of them, but... There are just too many voices for this one. Just... Just let me have my fun, guys. The bed is new. We found her in the forest, suffering from amnesia. Can you believe it? The poor thing. Oh, honey, you look so dashing when you play. No, honey, it's you who looks dashing. May the world feel our love through our music. What do you have to say, Kabet? You... Eep! Um, how's it going? What are you looking at? I'm no one suspicious. Shoo shoo toots! You eep! Um, how, how's it going? Hmm... So... We're apparently... Interesting. Kabet apparently thinks that we look like someone who would think she looks suspicious. We can't pick up cheese. It's, it's a crisis. Alright, let's deal with some boxes. And now let's go manage this bridge situation. Yay! Woo! I love the bridge. So good. I... I'm not going to drown over and over again. In this surprisingly tricky, like, platforming puzzle. Which, that's the, ex that's the actually tricky part. Honestly, the, the moonstone. I need to... Maneuver that over, and then there's... Where was it? I'm pretty sure there's a... Oh, there it is. Gotta get that metal crate to get that moonstone. Which, you know, look at what I just blocked. No, no worries. Excuse me. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I, I can't actually lift it here. Let's do that. Get it over here. Put that down there. Grab it. Put it down. Then we can roll and grab that. I remember that being much trickier, but it's probably, it's probably easier because I now understand how you're supposed to do it. I remember it took me, like, 20 minutes the first time I was doing it. Oh, hey, it's a person. What is that person doing there, all, all locked up and alone? I don't know. But it's probably not important in the slightest. Also, what's this? Not something we can do anything with right now. Yeah, 
the game's actually going to start opening up relatively soon. Um, but we do need to wait until after a tie for it to really, like, balloon out and for us to have a ton of options. Um, right, I need to get over there. That was suspiciously easy. Now the question is getting back. I didn't think about that. Let me think, if I remember correctly... Yeah. You... If you're drowning in water, you end up wherever... In whatever spot would be closest to... Where you're in the water. Okay, I could... Hmm... Okay, so that's that's something that's that I could get now or I could get later. And I think the intent is that you get it later. But uh On the other hand. Funny. Um how do I I do remember there was a way of getting to this one early. But I don't remember it, so we're going to just save and head over to a tie. Actually, if I remember correctly, forgive me. I think th there's something else we can do with the troubadours. Sorry, the wandering melodies. I'll remember their, the correct name someday. And it would probably be a good idea to get that done before we continue. Yeah, th this episode is probably going to be a little bit longer than the last episode was, just because, hey, the last episode... You know, a lot of the episodes recently have been cut short by technical difficulties. Maybe I should be better at life. Oh wait, no, sorry. I was telling you a fibberoonie earlier. Okay, they've already moved on. Oh, I, I could have sworn there there's one spot where where they're like stuck and they need money to keep going. And I thought it was that there. Um because you notice how one of the one of the things was like be charitable. I'm pretty sure that that's what that's talking about. There we go. Take that mystery meat. I do I do need to hunt some number of enemies for another one of them achievos, which. We're not going to get all of them. Actually, let me show you exactly why we're not going to get all of them. And I'll be I'll have to be a little bit careful cuz a lot of the ones over on the like the corner cover bosses. Okay, we're going to get that one. We're going to win the game, but the zero trial. Beat the game having picked up zero heart rubies and zero energy gems and having used none of the combat perks from the difficulty option menu. That's essentially that's essentially the game's hard mode. And there is no way, no way we're doing that. Okay. Let's check the Franway in here. Uh, there they are. That's where the, f that's where the people were. Ah, it's you again. I never forget a fan. As you can see by our being here, we've successfully crossed the broken bridge. That's the power of music and love, honey. Unfortunately, we all took a tumble in the river and our equipment got damaged. Alas, woe is us. Without our equipment, might this be the end of our musical adventure? Uh, well, well, we had a good run. Guess we'll hit the road. With the power of love and friendship, and a little donation of 60R, we will persevere. Donate it to repair the instruments just to make Kabet miserable. R really? You're gonna give us this money? You're the best fan ever. We shan't forget this. The universe wants us to continue our journey. Let's hit it. Is what I'd say if our instruments weren't currently damaged. We'll do it for next time. What do you have to say about this, Kabat? 
Oh yeah, Toots, you're real nice, ain't ya? This group's a hoop, they get in trouble at every turn. Hmm, what kind of... What kind of criminal are you, Cabet? That was flattering that river, my life was swimming away. Then Cabet jumped in, lifted me up, and carried me to safety. Next up, Moonlight Ravine. It's a little known secret you can cross the Dire region by way of ferry ride. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say no more broken bridges. Agreed. Might as well save here. This isn't where we're going to be stopping, though. I think we should might as well get into... Eh. What a mysterious building. Could it be the hideout of the nefarious bandits? Detective Doozy's on the case. I saw someone open the door inside by whistling a little tune. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer the good old lock and key. Right, yes. So you hop in here, as you can see, we've got a little mo musical staff on the wall. These are important, and they're not something we can deal with yet. You've probably heard me say that a lot. Um... I'm actually trying to think, like, should I... Actually, you know what? Let's let's go grab something and then and then end. Um, we can't get anything at Adar's house right now. We're not even gonna try. Um, let's go to the Rotus check Rotus checkpoint. Pop a little cheeky save. Welcome to the Castella and Rotus border. While here, you act as the representative of our country. So be cool. I heard the peace ministers were unveiling a new technology, so I had to see it. And I'm impressed. This recycler thing is going to kill a lot of businesses. The one disadvantage I see is that the recycler pays relatively little. Then again, and that thing will even take your used socks. Mom and Papa jobs can't compete with that. Well, all right, yes. And that's just the be cool. The, okay, yeah. So the peace ministers are the... People who are keeping a close eye on all the technology. Oh yes, this room! This room! Haha, <laughs> look at those two flirty youngsters. You can feel the heat and tension from here. <laughs> He's just my relative. Yeah, right. How is uncle? He is well, cousin. Thank you for asking. And how is auntie? She recovered from her sickness. She's also in good health. This gladdens me. Ah yes, those flirty youngsters. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that room. I wish I was in the night shift. They get to sleep during the day while I toil in the scorching heat. The Rotus light armor is more suited for this environment. Oh, uh, don't let my boss know I said that. I'm gonna stand here and soak in the cool air for as long as possible. Oh. And more importantly, cat, cat, hidden cat, secret cat. They can't hide it from me. They can't hide any of those little darlings from me. There once existed a bitter rivalry between Rodus and Castello over land disputes. These border walls that were erected 10 years ago stand as a testament to that time. And there once did not exist a marketplace betwixt these walls. This marketplace stands as a testament to entrepreneurship. Huzzah. It's getting kind of tight over here. I think this is designed to fit one only. Please depart. Ooh, it's way too hot up here. You'll have to excuse me for wearing shorts. Sure, sure guy. At least you can have a chat over here. Honey, pickled plums, flour. Nothing odd here, just your standard run of the mill training items. We peace ministers monitor all sorts of things, not just machinery. What's it all for? Indeed, I ponder the same things myself. I'm a huge fan of your country's honey brew. That thing needs to go international already. In my country, sweet things are somewhat of a rarity. Luckily, working here gives me access to all the sweet things I could want. All right, let's explore here. Would you like to buy my panda a camel scratching stick? It has just the right number of right amount of grooves and bumps to give your camel a satisfying scratch. Act now and receive a free bottle of camel shampoo. 
Feast your eyes on the Great Recycler. This eco-friendly machine will suck up your unwanted items and spit out money. I'd be happy to take any questions regarding the Recycler. Uh, what, what is it? The Recycler is an ancient technology once widely used by our very own ancestors. It's a handy machine capable of automatically processing and repurposing all junk. It was thought lost to the ages until recent breakthroughs in science. Thanks to a joint effort between the science community and the peace ministers, we're bringing it back. Yeah, so this thing, you equip something, you stand underneath it, and it offers you money. Um, most of the time, unless you're really, really hard-pressed for money, like, there are, like, for example, I could equip this and recycle it, and wow, 25 are not much money. But there's a spot later in the game that will give us a much bigger payoff for that. So we're gonna wait. Mother, I must absolutely have this pony. Dear, it kind of smells. Wouldn't you rather have something else? Aw, you never give me what I want. <sighs> if only there was a stuffed pony somewhere or other. I think that's part of the trading quest. Cause, oh right, yeah, this game has a trading quest. Cause, uh, Zelda, right. Right, one of those conversations. Rent a camel, cross the road of sands and comfort. Do you like camels, miss? Sure do. Right, who doesn't like camels? If you bounce on them while holding A, you'll jump higher too. Pookie are the same, which is why it's my personal theory that they're related. Yep, if you do this. Bounce camel. Bounce camel. Ah, uh, this shady fella. People seem to avoid me for some reason. I'm just trying to earn an honest living. I assure you the mask I'm wearing is an improvement. But this is what we're buying here. That's a refurbished crank lamp. It's a little scruff, but it illuminates with a can-do attitude. Buy a refurbished crank lamp for 80 for 80? What's the catch? Well, it works just a bit unsightly, kinda like me. It works just as well as a regular crank lamp. Hmm. Okay, occasionally it emits a little spark. Nothing to be concerned about. It's a feature, if anything. What if I sweeten the offer with a 10 R discount? Yes. Thanks for the business. May you and your new lamp have many wonderful memories. You obtain the refurbished crank lamp. The lamp's light can illuminate dark areas. Press start to da da da. Okay, so the crank lamp is important. Because it's how you... Oh, right, I need to actually science the wheel. Because it's how you, like, light up dark places, right? And you can buy multiple different crank... You can buy crank lamps from, like, multiple places. Like, this guy sells one. There's one in a Thai village. My town, I should say. But uh, the important thing about this one is it produces sparks. You may be like, why is that important? Because you can light fires with that one. You can't light fires with a normal, fully functional one. Is this golem really within regulations? Yes, sir. Why is it so chatty? You better not be installing extra personality chips. I, I assure you, that's not how it works. I don't like the skip of that golem step. Mind if I look inside? Please don't! You'll break it! No, I won't. Despite appearances, I'm quite gentle. Hello, human! Would you like to be my friend? I'm Hugs Gollum 3000, and I love meeting new people! Heart, heart, heart! There's a legend among my kind. If a Gollum makes 1,000 friends, it can become human! Good lad, Hugs Gollum 3000. It's a rubber ducky! Put it in your bath or give it to your dog! Endless applications! Buy a rubber ducky for 14 R. I'm gonna buy it. Aw, oh, you don't have enough space for it. That sad ducky needs a home, so do come back. Okay, so I think that that's actually gonna be a... Uh, a thing. Like, I think that's part of the training quest? I don't know, actually. How exciting! Another day in the market! What will I find today? Sometimes there's potential in the least likely of places. An experienced shopper knows how to spot the good deals from the bad. Good to know. Hey there, would you like to buy some snake oil? It's great for lubing your joints. You'll feel as nimble as a monkey. Or perhaps I could interest you in some magic beans. These beans sprout with just a little soil and water. I think I'll pass. A ton of people are escaping Castella for fear of the Ouroboros bandits. I must be the only one trying to escape in the opposite direction. I'll take the occasional bandit over unending searing hot weather any day. I heard your people have a problem with Ouroboros. Ha! Ouroboros would not dare tread on our land. 
Executions have that effect on people. Our castell is a bountiful land, a rich in verdure, and host to towering waterfalls. Certainly, on those points, Rhodus cannot compete. But only in the ever-shifting sand dunes of Rhodus can you hear the silent, sad song of the wind. Rhodus has its own wistful beauty. It's sort of an acquired taste. Okay. So, well, it's been an hour, so I think we're gonna... Pop a nice save here. And call it a day. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe let's bounce on a camel while we while we're talking, while we're closing down. So yeah, a lot happened today. We uh, everyone we know and love just got kidnapped, and we headed, and we're off on our grand adventure to find everyone. How exciting! The plot has actually begun, and I love the I love how Atai looks, honestly, um, or like the Atai region. I. Those of you who saw my, like, Monster World 3, Monster World 4, sorry, uh, playthrough, know that I'm a, I'm a real sucker for, like, the Arabian Nightsy vibe. And this area has that in spades. It's really good. But yeah, so next time, we are going to be heading off into a Thai city, and... Hearing some more about these Ouroboros bandits. Ouroboros? Right, yes, I think it's pronounced Ouroboros. Um, but there's going to be a lot of time spent in a Thai, Thai city. Because there are a few things we need to do before we can get ready for the next dungeon. Anyway, I'm going to stop hopping on this camel. And I've been Mappy. This has been Phenotopia, Phenotopia Awakening. I can speak. I can words. And next time, I hope to see you for more of this. Take care and goodbye.